Running a newsletter is fun and rewarding, but the demand to constantly create can be a slippery slope to creative burnout. Now, the good news is that there are ways to work smarter instead of harder. Email automations can give you the breathing room that you need in your paid and free newsletters to grow your business. And automating your newsletter is easier than you might think. Angel Marie here, creator educator over at ConvertKit. Let's get started. Setting up email automations at key points in your subscriber relationship has a few benefits. The first benefit is that automations are automatic. They work without input from you, freeing up your time for other things. Automations are also timely. They make sure readers are getting promotions and content when it's relevant for them, and not just when you remember to mention it. And lastly, automations are scalable. They help you manage more subscribers since everyone gets the same personal experience automatically. Now keep in mind, no matter your newsletter topic, most newsletters can benefit from a core set of automations. Now the five automations we're about to walk through today range from the very first moment a person is on your email list to the time that some may unsubscribe. In between, you'll find automations to learn from subscribers and introduce them to more ways to getting involved. The first automation is the welcome sequence. Your welcome sequence gives new subscribers an instant hello. Use this first message to introduce yourself, share top content, or let subscribers know what they can do next, just as creator Brittany Berger does in her very own welcome sequence for her newsletter. The second automation is self-segmentation. As you grow your business, you might end up with content or resources for slightly different interests. Instead of guessing what people need, just ask them. You can also use self-segmentation to kick off automated content. Creator Amanda Nadevad, head of marketing and content agency Growth Machine, added a link trigger to tag people interested in a webinar. The third automation is to introduce your paid products. Free newsletters are the ideal place to build trust and authority with your audience since you're consistently sending the valuable content. Now, once you've established this relationship, you can share snippets of your paid newsletter to promote exclusive content. And as a creator, you can also use a sales email sequence to upsell paid newsletter subscribers to your high price courses or coaching services. The fourth automation you can use to scale your business. This is the referral program. Now, if you ask subscribers to refer you to their friends and give them an easy way to do it, they just might help you grow your email list. A referral program automation includes each subscriber's unique referral link to each email, along with a personalized prompt, encouraging them to share and get access to exclusive rewards. Just like creator Jay Klaus, who uses both ConvertKit and Sparkloop to grow his newsletter. Now, adding an automation that encourages subscribers to use the referral program can help you grow your list faster too, without constant hands-on effort. The very last automation we'll talk about here is the cold subscriber re-engagement. When a subscriber stops opening your emails, you have two options, reinvigorate their interest or remove them from your list. Luckily, you can make these tasks easier with a simple re-engagement automation. Now, why bother removing cold subscribers? Well, there's two important reasons here. First is that removing people who never open your emails could bring your average open and email click-through rates up, which is always a great thing. And second, Keeping only the most engaged subscribers around means you aren't paying for a higher plan based on an inflated number of subscribers, which is also a great thing. So now that we know the five newsletter automations that can help scale your business, let's go ahead and walk through a quick demo on how to set up one of them. More specifically, the paid product launch automation. Let's dive in. The first thing you can do to kickstart this process in an easy way is to click on one of the automation templates provided for you down below. Now, if you're a ConvertKit user, you'll simply just click on use this automation and it'll be copied straight into your account. If you're not a ConvertKit user yet, you can sign up right down below as well. And then once you click on use this automation, you'll be able to copy it straight into your account too. This automation starts with subscribers being pulled in by filling out a form or by being tagged from, for example, by clicking a link in your previous email expressing interest in your upcoming course. Now, even though this template has been easily created for you, you can click on each step to edit it accordingly. For example, when we click on the form, we can edit the headline, we can edit the description copy, 
We can edit the fields, the colors, and so much more. When you're finished customizing, click Save, and it'll bring you back to our original automation. Once creators sign up on this particular form or are tagged with this particular tag, they'll automatically be brought down to receive a sequence of emails that you already set up. Feel free to edit each email in the sequence, add more emails to the sequence if you're wanting, and customize when you want these emails to automatically send out for you. From here, be sure to turn each email from draft to publish so that it's ready to send in your subscribers' inboxes. After the last email in that series, you can continue to bring subscribers in this automation down through your funnel. In this particular automation template, we have another series that will send on the day your product actually launches. The date of your very own unique product launch can be customized here, along with your product launch sales email sequence, where you can take intentional time to teach, to build trust, and pitch your product more than once to increase the amount of buyers flowing in. Then, after your product launch sequence ends, you can continue the automation further by targeting who bought and who did not buy through a condition. To create your own condition and have it work for you correctly, you'll need to set up an automation rule. To do this, just click on Automations, Rules, Add Rule, and then set up a trigger for when your product has been purchased. From here, Connect that purchase action with the tag so you can easily identify those that bought from you and be able to target them specifically. Just like how our automation flows here. If they purchased, you're automatically sending targeted emails based on that action. If subscribers did not purchase, you'll be sending them targeted different emails based on that action to help increase their likelihood of eventually purchasing your course or maybe purchasing something else they might be interested in. Once you're ready for this automation to run, simply turn it from paused to on and you are good to go. And that's it, an automation ready to go that will give you the breathing room you need to keep your newsletter valuable and your subscribers engaged. If you'd like to test it out or any of these other five automations we talked about today, you can go ahead and grab a hold of those automation templates right below to add to your ConvertKit account absolutely for free along with a few other resources to help you alongside your creator journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.